Pressure and energy density of electromagnetic radiation. Consider electromagnetic radiation that is a gas of photons enclosed in a box of edge lengths Lx, Ly, Lz. Since a photon moves with the speed of light, it's a relativistic particle. Its energy, epsilon, is related to its momentum by ch bar k. So uh, it's actually epsilon is equal to momentum of the photon times the speed of light. So that is the energy of a photon. Uh, use this expression to calculate the force exerted by a photon on the right wall of the container uh, specified by uh, in a state specified by quantum numbers nx, ny, and z by simply averaging drive an expression for the mean force in terms of the mean energy of a photon and show that the mean pressure is one third u bar where u bar is the mean electromagnetic energy per unit volume of radiation why is the constant of proportionality equal to one thirds instead of two thirds in the preceding problem of a non-relativistic gas? Uh, so we will do exactly the same calculation we did in the previous problem. The uh, energy of a photon, epsilon, is equal to C h bar k, which is uh, its momentum times the speed of light c which is ch bar square root of kx square plus ky square plus kz square. And these k values are again quantized ni pi divided by li, i is xy, z, and the n values are 1, 2, 3, etc. integers. So the force corresponding to a quantum state R is, as we have shown in the previous problem, minus the partial derivative of the energy with respect to Lx for a force applied in the uh, positive x uh, direction, which is to the right, right wall. So this would be equal to minus del uh, epsilon R del kx del kx del lx so uh, for the first derivative i would have uh, a minus a ch bar the derivative with respect to kx of uh, the following kx square plus ky square plus kz square to the power one half and del kx del lx is minus pi uh, nx over lx square. So this is the derivative of kx with respect to lx. So you can see that the first thing I notice is the minus sign disappears. And then uh, for the derivative of uh, the square root, so here I have ch bar the derivative will give me a 1 over 2 and then I will have a kx square plus ky square plus kz square to the power minus 1 over 2 and then I have the derivative of the inside which is 2kx and then I have uh, the derivative of kx with respect to lx with the plus sign it becomes pi nx over lx squared so uh, this will be uh, the the twos will uh, cancel and uh, basically i have a, in this expression uh, this can be written as kx uh, divided by lx so i can see that this force is equal to ch bar kx squared divided by lx uh, and then in parentheses kx squared plus ky squared plus kz squared to the power minus 1 over 2. So this, this would be the mean force exerted by a photon on the 
uh, right wall of the container. Now let's move on to part B. Now we will take the average of this. Um, so in part B we take the average of the force for the state R. Uh, so you, we can see that the force uh, can be written in terms of the mean, uh, the energy of the uh, system. So uh, if you look at uh, square root of kx square ky square kz square, you can see that epsilon divided by ch bar is square root of kx square plus ky square plus kz square. So if I go back here, I have for the force ch bar kx uh, square divided by lx uh, square root uh, kx square plus ky square plus kz square. So uh, this will give me uh, for the force ch bar kx square uh, divided by lx and for square root of kx square plus ky square plus kz square I substitute epsilon over ch bar so this becomes ch bar over epsilon epsilon r so uh, this will basically uh, give me um, c square h bar square kx square divided by lx times epsilon r so that would be the mean force uh, written in terms of the uh, the energy of the uh, the total energy of the uh, photon uh, so if i take its average value i can calculate uh, the mean value of this um, So, uh, the mean value of the force FR bar for the state R is C square H bar square KX square average value divided by LX uh, or rather I can say this is the uh, average value of KX square over epsilon R that we have to Consider so written in terms of the mean energy. That's what I obtain and uh, So this is our answer written in terms of the mean energy And for part C uh, I'm going to calculate um, the pressure exerted on the walls by this uh, radiation so for the pressure, I can write uh, the uh, pressure x p x bar will be equal to uh, capital N times fr bar uh, divided by ly lz so in the same uh, arguments so this will be equal to uh, n uh, c h bar kx square divided by Lx, Ly, Lz, Kx square plus Ky square plus Kz square. It was actually uh, CH times Kx square, Ky square, Kz square. But then I had the square on top, so they cancelled. So I obtained uh, this result. So basically, if I rewrite this, this will be N CH bar. Uh, kx square divided by 
LX, LY, LZ, uh, and this is to the power of one half. So I have KX squared plus KY squared plus KZ squared to the power one half. Um, So if you consider the pressure exerted on the in order to calculate the average values px bar plus py bar plus pz bar um, so this is just to calculate the average values i have n times uh, fr x component divided by ly lz i have n times fr y component divided by lx lz and n times frz component divided by lx ly average values so this will give me uh, n ch bar uh, kx square plus ky square plus kz square divided by lx ly lz uh, kx square plus ky square plus kz square to the power one half so i can see that the the sum of the pressures on the x on the y and on the z uh, uh, on the walls uh, in the top wall the right wall uh, etc uh, this will give me basically because i have uh, this one uh, giving me a factor one over two here uh, capital N times epsilon R CH bar uh, divided by V. Now this is uh, basically equal to U bar, the total mean energy per volume. But since I have the same pressure, mean pressure exerted on the right side, on the top, etc. So these, uh, these pressures PX, PY and PZ are the same pz bar is the same uh, then i i can see that this px bar plus py bar plus pz bar is actually three times px bar uh, so which is equal to three times p bar the mean pressure exerted by the gas and that is equal to u bar so therefore we realize that uh, the p bar value the mean pressure is one thirds u bar for this case so here I had to uh, do a trick, mathematical trick to calculate the average value. I had to consider the pressure on the, uh, in the x direction, in the y and in the z directions uh, because um, I, I, I wanted to obtain the, the mean uh, energy uh, in this expression. So I can consider the um, mean value of the right hand side easily and this basically told me since the pressure there's a single pressure it's the same on all walls of the container a p bar should be one third u bar so for part d uh, we have uh, we were basically asking why we have a factor of one over three instead of uh, two over three uh, now the problem comes from the following in the uh, non-relativistic case in the non-relativistic case we have the energy proportional to p square actually it is p square divided by 2m that's the uh, kinetic energy remember and in the relativistic case uh, we have a different dependence on momentum the energy varies as p so uh, p is equal to h bar k uh, the momentum so uh, because we have two different dependencies on the momentum uh, we see that there is a factor of two difference in the uh, result that's why we have the factor uh, is two-thirds for a non-relativistic case and one-third for 
relativistic case. So this factor, the difference in the factors, stems from the fact that we have different functional dependence on momentum for relativistic and non-relativistic cases. Okay, so in summary, uh, we applied the, uh, the previous problem, uh, formalism, to a photon gas where the energy is given by Pc instead of P squared over 2m in the non-relativistic case. And uh, the force on the right-hand side is minus del epsilon del Lx, as in the previous problem. And the k values are quantized as ni pi over Li. Uh, where i is x, y, and z. By performing the derivative, we found uh, ch bar kx square over lx uh, divided by square root kx square plus ky square plus kz square. And this can be written in terms of the energy of the system because square root of kx square ky square plus kz square is epsilon divided by ch bar. So uh, it is c square h by square kx squared over epsilon r mean value is the mean force uh, per particle. The total uh, mean pressure exerted on the right hand side is capital N times fr bar divided by lylz. It is similar to the uh, previous problem. We have the force exerted on the right hand side divided by the area is lylz. So we get the total pressure uh, in this manner. So if you were to do the same calculation for y or z axis or z directions, we would have px bar plus py bar plus pz bar equaling to 3 px bar because that is px bar is actually p bar. There is only a simple pressure, a uh, single value of pressure. Uh, we see that this uh, value 3 p bar is actually equal to u bar, the mean value of the uh, total energy so we find that p bar is one third u bar and the difference in the factors two thirds versus one third comes from the fact that we have different dependencies on uh, the linear momentum one is uh, the non-relativistic case p square dependence in the relativistic case we have a linear dependence on momentum